Hello, it's the Desolator. Today I'm going to go hunting for some giant laser fish. Then I'm going to build a passive iron farm designed by a YouTuber named Voltrox, whose description is down below. And finally, it's time for a bit of a vacation to do some fishing. Let's get started with Desolate the Air, episode number 12. Here I am on another roof near the gas farm. This portal here should be the coordinates at the Ocean Monument. We'll probably end up in a cave somewhere underground. Which is why I have all this milk and the fire resistance. See where we are. Oh wow. I did not expect this. Um. This means there's no cave system underneath there. Ah, uh, this is not what I was hoping for. I wanted to spawn in somewhere underneath. I decided let's see what happens if we go lower down in the nether. Might have something to do with the world height. Well, that got us closer to the ground. Um, <laughs> this really isn't how it should work. Normally I'd put the portal on the roof and it would appear somewhere underneath. Okay, this isn't the safest area. What if we went further yet? Let me move the portal. Portal attempt number three. Where will we end up this time? Okay, this is better. This is better. Let me check my coordinates. Oh, this is very good. This is very good indeed. Now we have to make our way up. Okay. One forty one. About forty four. And let me get you some light. Uh, we don't need the milk just yet. And we want to go up here. I just missed the gravel. Okay, we don't need to worry about going up too far because of the ocean bottom. Oh wow, that was water already, wasn't it? Is that water? Okay, give me the milk. That is water. Oh, and it's a water cave. Not helpful. Okay, this is good. Oh, 
that wasn't so good. Now, do we have to worry about water in the scaffold? Yes, we do. Okay, we need to go one higher. And I've got water dragging me. Yo. I see you there. Barely. Oh. I don't know why I couldn't get in the scaffolding. Oh! That was dangerous. The word of the wise, bring more doors. They're not really supposed to spawn under here, but they certainly swim under often enough. Oi. Ooh. You can see it's dangerous even under here. I'm ready to start going after the Elder Guardians. Now, I did a bunch of potion brewing, and I have night vision, water breathing, and visibility. And I drink them in that order. But I'll wait until I get up into the monument again. Now, I cleared up some of the water here, and I put down some doors in the monument, so that there's a couple of safe rooms. See how long it takes before the curse to come back. Here's the first room, here's the second room. Okay, now we're gonna take our potions. Bring the next set down. Okay. Uh, anything else here? Nope. Just this room. Just this room. Okay. Wouldn't have needed that higher one. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, here's one. Now, since I'm invisible, the only thing I have to worry about is the thorns. Okay. Now the others are usually pretty easy to find. Should be down this tunnel. And we'll hang a right. We should find the other one somewhere down this way. Here. 
Not so tough when you can't see me, are you? The elders aren't necessarily that difficult. It's when you end up with dozens of the little ones attacking you at the same time. Now the last one will be up in the roof, the highest point, but how to get there. Oh, nice sponge room. Take a screen cap. There we go. Um, okay, this place is not easy. We may end up having to take it and go outside and come in from the top. Okay, there's nothing here. Where is most of the monument? Okay, back this way. back down. Okay, let's try this direction. We'll come back here at the end. A lot of this is closed off. Um, is this the same sponge room? Maybe. I don't know, we'll take a shot just in case. Okay. Don't really want to take the time to look. Except it does. Okay, three sponges. And this is the easy mode way of taking out a dun uh, ocean monument. Nothing to see here. The 
sword and shield and boots. Ooh. I'm gonna take potions again and go get the treasure. Oh, uh, what's my point of the door doing that? Bring our other ones down, in case we need them. We shouldn't, though. And I've switched swords now that I don't have mining fatigue every time I turn around. <laughs> they must be so confused. What's going on here? I don't understand. Okay. All right. Not bad for not having aqua affinity. I'm not wearing my helmet. You can only wear one piece of armor and be invisible. Didn't know. Ooh, spooky. Oh, the laser fish cry. I don't understand. So confused. I remember when this used to be a lot of gold. Those were the days. Okay, we'll just finish up with these. section of the video today. Here's my iron farm that I built that spawn underneath it. Here we have the area that the golems spawn in. The water pushes them towards the lava, which is on the third block, so that none of the drops burn, but the golem burns, just like this one's going to do here. Thank you for your Commitment to our world here, Gollum. We will remember you. Down below we just have five beds in this room with five villagers. Let's go take a look at how we got these villagers over here. 
Okay, little feller. In you go. In I go. Yes. I have been having good luck getting them in the boat there. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, eight, five. Okay, off we go. Might as well bolt them all out of the enclosure here. Making a bit of a convoy here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I hope you don't mind your little friend. Oh. Ooh, how long are you going to stay at three? Close your eyes, kid. Oh. You're bringing up the rear of our convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? Convoy. Something on the back of my head? You're not putting a kick me sign on my helmet, are you? Don't you want food? Ha <laughs> Tricked for a few potatoes. Don't worry, there'll be more. Oh, I had you. They can't come back. There's a there's a drop. Well, actually, I suppose they could barely come back. There's a drop on the other side of a block. Well, I'm trying not to go through myself. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now you just need to go through. Walk off on the other side. Come on. Help me out here. Thank you. Oh, come on. Don't go back through. Okay, good. You down there. Ha ha, now you're trapped. Now you're trapped. Down you. Join the others. You're going to make iron golems. And you can make one more baby. I don't know what to do with the other two bricks to put them back in place. Okay. Now I found 
don't let them see you watching because then they'll stare at you instead. They'll be like, wow, what are you doing trying to watch us? How rude. I don't have to make too many babies, oh well. Someone won't sleep. If this is a passive farm, it may not have the drop rate that other farms with hostile mobs do. I've been AFK for an hour. Let's see what we've gotten. That's pretty respectable. Good stuff. Good work. Okay. I've spent a lot of time around the area where we're... I've spent a lot of time hanging around the area where I'm building the house. I thought it was time for a change of pace. So how about a little seaside visit? And how about a seaside house? I got a little start on the uh, basics. Let's carve away some of the wall here. And I've got a bit of a deck, a bit of a path coming down to it. And I'm going to make a path all the way back to almost the house area. Let me get some more work done on this, and I'll come back and show you how things are progressing. Well, good morning. I'm back at the fishing shack again. Well, good morning. I'm back at the fishing shack again. Let's take a look at it. We have some barrels, fishing rod, fresh water, drying rack, nice little banner display here. Coming inside, we have our table for meals and whatever else. We have a desk, we can pull the chair over if we have to. There's some supper waiting for later in the day, bed, nightstand, nice little carpet, trap door, pressure plate actually, those are trap doors. <laughs> the dock has seen better days, but it's a good dock, and the logs go all the way down to something solid, even stone. So we come up here, up the stairs, they're a little rough, around the corner, we got more lights along here for, well, actually I think this is the last light for a while, we got some nice little banners, show us which way to go, until we get over to the stairs, and then there's a path, an old path with stone here and there. Fixed up some of the stairs. And we just travel along here. Go the pace. And we follow around. Come around. Here we are. Come this way. Down we go. Around the corner. Further down. Take a moment to enjoy the waterfall here on this nice early morning. And we come up here. And we come along. And I pass right past it. There's a flag there. Ran right past it. And then there's another flag here. And this is essentially the end of the path for now. This valley, I'm going to build something in. I'm just not entirely sure what yet, and that'll be some time later. 
Let's go look at another project. Okay. We have our little table for eating meals. A desk over here. We can pull the chair over. Here's some supper waiting for later. We have a bed, nightstand. We've got nice beams across the ceiling. Got a little lantern. We've got a plant. We have a little rug here with a pressure plate to close the door behind us. And that's the house. And with that said, I'm going to wait. Did you hear something? I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I had fun. If you did too, please click the like button. If you want to stay in touch on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Click the bell to have YouTube notify you when I release a new video. To stay in touch even better, join my Discord linked in the description. You can also watch me on Twitch linked below too. See you next time. Bye-bye.